Um, good morning. Uh, it's 11 o'clock. I realise this is strangely early for me, but um, I think I had better do a video now because today is going to be a busy day, I think. Um, so I woke up this morning, going to have some visitors in today. But before any of that, the doctors came in uh, with some good news. My feels hit 0.5 today, so I can go home. Um, they then came with a bit of extra news, which I hadn't really counted on, which was that they want to take out the Hickman line in my chest. Um, so that came as a bit of a shock. I wasn't really hadn't prepared myself for that. It's not an issue, um, I assume. I just uh, cut me open and take it out, I suppose. But, um, you know, when I go to Southampton, they'll need to put a new one in anyway with uh, three sort of tube endings instead of two. But yes. It is the 24th today. I'll probably be sleeping in my own bed tonight. A bit underneath, okay? Mm -hmm. Well done. Well done, Taylor. Believe it or not, even though the hole's here, mm -hmm. the hole in your vein is actually up here. Yeah. So what you need to do is um, just compress this part. So. Well done. Well. Well done. Nice. All gone. I don't think you'll even need stitches there, to be honest, because mm -hmm. I haven't even had to yeah. widen the hole. Brilliant. So yeah, all Good done. What's going to happen with that hole in my vein now? That will, that will cross off. Yeah. Your platelets will do the rest. Sweet. Hence why I checked that you have enough platelets before. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> this may be the last video I record in this room. We're just packing up now. Um, but it has been a hectic morning. Had quite a few visitors in. Uh, including Foxy, friend of Dad's, who some of you may know from uh, Channel 4's SAS Who Dares Wins picture here. Um, and then after that, they went and took my Hickman line out. As we can see, Right here. No more tubes. For the first time in over a hundred days, I don't have anything dangling from me. It's a strange sensation. Up here in my neck, you can sort of see the scar there where it was, and there'd usually be like a, a little lump right over my collarbone there where the tube went. And now it's not there. I don't know how to handle that. It's a strange feeling. I've just become very accustomed to having tubes running through me. But yeah, it's a very exciting day. Neutrophils are up, so we're going home. I will be back in on Wednesday, I believe. I'll be having another bone marrow biopsy um, just to see how this third round of chemo has gone, just to make sure it's done its thing. Um, and we'll uh, bring in some, some nice gifts for the nurses and the doctors that have all been so good to me during my time here. Um, and then that'll probably be my, my last last time in the ward. It's strange. It really is. We're very close now. The finish line is in sight. It is in Southampton. 
That is where we will do battle. Can't wait. Today, Taylor's coming home. We're packing up the room. He's got properly discharged from Pool Hospital. He won't, other than coming in for another biopsy, but that'll just be as a day patient. Yeah. Let's have a look. No Hitman lie got jump. Ooh, so they're taking that out. Mm-hmm. I know. Did it hurt? Not really. It was anaesthetic in the chest and then just a bit of tugging and scissoring and, you know. Ooh. Right then, let's pack this room up once again. Goodbye, Pool Hospital. Goodbye out here. This has been how many days are we on? 109 that you've been in here. Something like that. You can come home, honey bun. I free myself and become independent from Pool Hospital. <laughs> Yay! Yay! I am Taylor the Unburdened. So, it's actually the day after all of that you just saw. I slept wonderfully last night, back in my own bed. Just back at home now. Um, and I'll just be eating as much as I can, relaxing as much as I can, making the most of the time that we have before Southampton. Nice.